It is a dream of many Kenyans to travel and work outside Kenya in the search of a better life. 32-year-old Meru Wanjiro got a visa to travel to Saudi Arabia. Her family was optimistic the opportunity will open doors to a better life. Ikiwa mwaka mwaka hii mwezi wa 4 tarehe 22 uh, nilikuwa na haso tu. Niki haso nikaona ni mzuri niende nikatafuta kazi Saudi Arabia. Nikaenda kwa agent kwenda kwa agent akaniambia kwa vacas ya kwenda Saudi Arabia. Nikaajaza hizo form na nikakaa alafu tena nikaenda Saudi Arabia. Venye nilienda Saudi Arabia nilipata kazi na nikakaa na mdosi wangu mzuri. Lakini siku moja aliamka nikio mimi nilikuwa nimeona kuna designs nini si mzuri venye mnakaa na yeye nikaenda huko juu. Kwenda huko juu siku hiyo akaniambia niingie nikibishana niingie niingie nikakataa kuingia akanirusha nikaangukia mabati ya stock but for wanjiru it was not long before she will regret leaving her homeland to what she thought was the promised land her misery began immediately when she reported to work kwenye nilianguka nikachukua mfereji hapa palikuwa na mfereji nikachukua mfereji nikakaonga kongea neiba neiba akanitoka akanikamwambia nisaidie nye nimwambia nisaidie akanitia ambulance zikanipeleka hosi kunipeleka hosi Jero counts herself lucky after surviving a fall from the second floor of her employer's house who allegedly pushed her and was rescued by the police officers called in by concerned neighbor. Nezaambia mtu mwenye anataka kuenda acha tu kuenda juu huko. Tunakuwa ni kulix tu unaenda kulix maisha yako kabisa. Juu huko kuna huruma kuongea kweli. Kabisa. A agent hata ukienda huko huko kuna kwa wewe na Mungu wako ukifika huko hakuna kitu kingine. Juu hata ukipeleka kwa hiyo ofisi yenye umepeleka ukishatoka kwa hiyo mlango umeishanu. Speaking at her mother's home in Jawatho Estate in Joronakuru County, Jero said she was lucky to return to the country alive unlike her peers who have in the past ejected into the country in coffin. Shiro ni msichana aliyepata msiba wa kupigwa na kurushwa kwenye gorofa na mwajiri wake kule inchi ya Saudi Arabia. Nilisikia hiyo ripoti nikiwa mbali tukashirikiana tukahakikisha Shiro amerudi Kenya na amechukuliwa kutoka Jomo Kenyatta na akaletwa hapo. After sleepless nights her employer's daughter requested her to dust her shoes in what later revealed to her she was no longer safe in the home. She explained that hours later as she was doing house chores at one of the balconies her employer approached and pushed her off to the ground. Mimi nataka serikali inisaidie venye naweza tibika migu zangu zirudi ni kuwa sawa ndio nianze kushughulikia watoto wangu tu sasa nikikaa kwa wheelchair kuna venye mambo mingi yangu itasimama juu hata mamangu ana uwezo ati venye anaweza chukua watoto afanye pamoja bado ata struggle hata yeye juu naona hata mimi nilikuwa nimeenda ku struggle ndio nione life kama ita change lakini naona si ku succeed venye nilikuwa nataka life yangu i change niliona badala iende change niliona sasa ni kama imeharibika kabisa tumekuwa tuki ampeleka um, hospitali na ameangaliwa amepigwa CT scan na MRI scan sasa madaktari wanaangalia kuangalia ni wapi imefanya apoze kutoka uh, waste kwenda kwenda chini ile kitu tungeomba ni kukue na shirika ya serikali ambayo inaweza kusaidia watu kama hawa The police officers who had saved her however took away her phone and never came back to the facility until cutting off her communication with her family and friends. At the facility, Wanjiru made friends with an Arab woman who offered to help her, though she expressed her fears that she will be punished for extending a helping hand to her. Wanjiru, who is now stuck on a wheelchair for her movement, has appealed for help from the well wishes, noting that she still has a dream of getting her family a place they can call home. Hata wale ambao wamerudi katika jamhuri yetu ambao walipata um, masaibu kama Shiro serikali iweke uh, pesa kando iwasaidie manake Shiro hapa wamekomboa na mama yake ni mzee sasa ameenda kazi ndiye amtafutie chakula sisi tunaweza saidia penye tuneweza lakini tungeomba hata serikali iingilie kati 
na tuweze kuona huyu msichana na wengine hata pale mwingito kulikuwa mwingine ambaye tulilete na tungetaka vijana wetu wasaidiwe she called on the local youth seeking jobs outside the country to do due diligence before flying out adding that her agent vanished immediately after learning about house According to the National Assembly Committee on Labor and Social Welfare report, 89 Kenyan domestic workers died in Saudi Arabia between 2019 and 2021.